Greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Wheeland. I'm an author, game designer, and professional nerd. Tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly neighborhood actual play show where we play all of the great games outside of Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, we are currently in the middle of a, a series playthrough of the 2D20 RPG uh, featuring the Fallout setting uh, from the classic video game. Um, it's weird to say classic video game. I, I saw a, a couple of friends arguing like um, about whether or not the first Fallout should be considered a retro video game because of how old it is. Um, and then I withered into dust. Uh, so, uh, we are in episode three of that playthrough. Uh, Medifius uh, adapted its 2D20 house system into... Um, uh, an official Fallout video game, and we took the opportunity to do that uh, with our show, The Last Bar in Milwaukee. Uh, now, I know that nobody has been paying attention to me for the past five minutes because of the staring contest that Ethan and Sarah are currently having, but I'm going to keep talking anyway because <laughs> we have a podcast that we're trying to fill out too, and uh, staring contests really don't play that well over podcasts. There are tears happening um, in the staring contest. So while while they're having their staring contest, I, I, I Oh wanna... god. Oh! <laughs> I was like, I am literally crying and it hurt oh, no. so much. I will full out admit oh. the first half of that I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> oh gosh, dang. I was okay. having a staring contest with the camera and then I noticed that Sarah was having a staring contest <laughs> with me. With with Wash, I think maybe. I don't know. Well, because you right. guys were still, then Tawny was just <laughs> so giddy. <laughs> I needed to see the blink. Um, oh. So before we get into our game today, oh. I did want to uh, make a, a, a couple of corrections. Um, so, you know, we do our best to play these games as uh, they're written, but sometimes rules get uh, misinterpreted or forgotten. And the best way that you can deal with that at your table is to be honest with your players and tell them, hey, I was reading the rules last night. I noticed that this is different the way that I've been playing it. So uh, let's try it uh, this way moving forward. Um, and as long as you're open and honest with those rules changes, you know, and also willing to discuss if, the, if that rule change happens and then two or three sessions later, people are like, I don't really like it. You know, uh, talk about it with your players and just make sure that everybody's on the same page. So, uh, the first uh, the first thing that I messed up is I forgot that um, Tawny had the inspirational uh, perk uh, for her character, which meant that uh, the players had, uh, normally the, the pool is uh, the maximum for their AP, is six but that expands their pool out to seven uh and tony actually took that perk for his character as well after last session which means that now they have a maximum of eight that they can uh put in their their ap uh, pool so as a bit of a, a mea culpa for that we're actually going to start them off uh tonight with uh two ap um Baller. And we're also only starting with four APE for the bad guys tonight, because if you haven't already noticed, Jordan is unfortunately uh, unable to um, uh, join us this evening. Yeah. Oh, you didn't notice, honey? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> I'm sure that Jordan is gonna wa is gonna watch this and be like, "Son of a bitch." Um, so happy birthday, Jordan! She's dead to us now. No, she's I not. Mean, happy birthday. She's not dead. She's. It's her birthday. She's I said she's dead to us now. Spending time, time with her family. Happy birthday! Jeez. Happy birthday, Jordan! Uh, that's not a rules modification. Um, told but her. this is. There is no birthdays in the rules. <laughs> but this is. So I've been. Uh, um, this table in particular is very good at, at wanting to help uh, other players, um, and so. They've been helping, trying to help people do things. Uh, and the way that we have been running it is they roll a single d20. If they succeed on their skill roll, they uh, the player who's doing the thing gets to add a d20 to their roll. And that's actually incorrect. When you help in the system, uh, you roll that single d20. Uh, and if you gain a success, um, 
the after the player who's doing who's the the main actor in the test does their success uh if they're successful then you just add on an additional success to the roll so we're going to be doing that going forward um but uh okay now that we've got the administrata out of the way uh let's talk about our players um what i want everybody to do is to introduce themselves uh introduce their character and to uh discuss what their favorite moment from last game was um so i'll begin um my name is rob wheeland uh he him uh i'm going to be the game master for the evening uh, and my favorite um my favorite moment from last session, I think, was just watching everybody chase around um, the mole rats. Um, and also being mad that I didn't think of calling them mall rats uh, <laughs> because it was at the, the Gate Ridge Shopping Center and feeling and one and. <laughs> Wondering how hard it would, would have been to fix it in post, and the answer was prohibitively expensive. So, dang it. All right, uh, let's begin with our first mind player. Hello, my name is Tony Cheek. He, him. Uh, I am playing Kirk, a.k.a. the Soda Jerk. He is the ghoul who runs the radio station. And my favorite part from last episode was having no idea how much my decision to do Animal Friend would harm... <laughs> Tawny. <laughs> yeah, you done almost killed me again. <laughs> that really went off the rails fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. That's amazing. Um, yeah, uh, Tony decided to engage his, his animal friend perk, which basically meant that any animal characters, uh, there was a, a, what, like a 40, uh, a, a decent sized mm -hmm. chance that if he rolled well, they wouldn't attack him. And the only and so they would attack somebody else. And the only times that that was successful was when the only other option was Tawny, who got mauled by some mole rats. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Um, it's funny now. It's funny no, now. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Sarah Babe. She, they. And I am playing Calamity Wayne and my dog Charlie. I am a sniper. And my favorite moment from last week was the Put Her There contest. <laughs> that was just so good. I'm Jordan is that it, it was an yeah. it was the next step in Jordan's uh Barbarian Awakening. Yeah, and, I don't think uh, she's gonna I don't think she's gonna be able to play like a support class character ever again. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm the front line, kill. <laughs> Support with my fist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Tawny P. Thompson, she, hers, and I will be playing Rainer Shine, the proprietor of Valtskis. Um, And my favorite moment from last time was not necessarily a favorite moment as much as a favorite NPC because Bango Ringo is great and I enjoy her. <laughs> Chain smoking, little weirdness so <laughs> yeah i i loved uh, uh i loved bango ringo too uh like the 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 kid running the um the post-apocalyptic uh settlement is always a, a fun trope to play with and mm -hmm. uh i think she did uh she did great uh let's move on to our final mind player hi i'm ethan ikes at anderson he him uh my, i'm playing keith the uh <laughs> The mm. robot. Tony is never not going to laugh at that. It, never, never not. I just. Uh, um, and my favorite moment is something that none of you can experience because it was a look on Brad's face when I wanted to hand someone an active grenade. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. Uh, that was great, man. I that really thought you were just gonna. Give them a grenade. If Tony didn't yell at me not to, I would have. <laughs> yeah. Like, pull the yeah. pin. Okay, yeah. all right. I just... Yeah, there was pure joy going on back here. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Please hand them the grenade. Do it. Okay. So we begin tonight in the Bramble. The Bramble is uh, what the locals call the wreckage 
of the 794 interchange um, in uh, near downtown Milwaukee. Oh, okay. uh, the one over okay. by like uh, the public market? Mm -hmm. Where they yeah, now yeah, have yeah. the pickleball courts. Mm -hmm. hmm. Where they the have... road looks like this. Yes, it, 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 it is a... <laughs> the uh, one that was used in the Blues Brothers movie. It is a fascinating loop of... Well, it's a Marquette Interchange, basically. Yeah. Or the east side of it. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is a fascinating loop of, you know, different highways converging and splitting off. And after the last war and 2,000 years of... Or, I'm sorry, 200 years of... Uh, non-maintenance has collapsed into this pile of rubble and steel girders and concrete blocks. There's probably a lot of nature in it too because there are multiple bioswales down there and like three groves of trees. Nature. Hi, I work in infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> it's always infrastructure week here at the Earth of Mind Players. Um, well, it's funny that you should mention that, Sarah, because uh, that is where we find Calamity. <gasps> Ooh, in a tree? Uh, no, uh, stashed somewhere in the um, in the bramble in a in a in a uh, in a in a spot waiting for a client. Okay, you've been hired. Wait, uh, waiting for a client? Well, I'm going or to. Or waiting for a client? Okay. Um. <laughs> So you've been hired uh, by a uh, a man by the name of well, actually, you've either been hired by uh, a man by the name of Randy Monk, okay, or the Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh. So Randy Monk then, and <laughs> I mean, well, what if Randy Monk is part of like a representative for? So okay, here's here here's his deal. Here's the deal. Randy Monk currently works for Baron Shotsky. Okay. Uh, Shotsky. <laughs> um, Shotsky. And he wants out. Okay. So he's made uh, a co he's made contact with the Brotherhood of Steel to get him out of Milwaukee to their uh, stronghold in Chicago. Okay. Right. Um, to get out, he needs to escape his security detail. Oh, and that's where you come in. Okay, he I wants to Chicago. No. <laughs> wow. That... I mean... Everyone is so sad right now. <laughs> um, he tried, and really, that's all that matters. <laughs> I think I nailed it. <laughs> With the hammer. Um... So, it's up to you to eliminate... So, your, your job is twofold here. Mm -hmm. Eliminate uh, uh, the uh, monk's uh, barley guard. Um, Sorry. It's always going to make me giggle. Uh, get him to a secure location mm -hmm. at, to wait for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel initiate to pick him up and then you hand him off they pay you the other uh, they they pay you the other 25 caps and that's where uh, and and that's your your job for the evening so um as you want him to be in a public location where there is you know our that's that's some place that you feel particularly safe in as well and know kind of the ins and outs and defensive points mm -hmm. Once you have picked him up, you're going to take him to Volsky's. Okay. And basically wait there, have a pint, and wait for all oh, this, this to blow, blow over. <laughs> um, <coughs> so my assumption here, and I sh and I, uh, and I shouldn't have done this because uh, when you make an assumption, you make an ass out of you and mission. I learned that in uh, first grade. Uh, is that you would be setting up in a sniper's nest to deal with the 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 two guards. You are correct in making that assumption. Okay, well. Um, so, um... Ooh. Okay. I was thinking that, like, I'd definitely be up in the sniper's nest. Okay. And I might have a couple booby traps along the path to get to the sniper's nest. Okay. So if they're really good security detail and they want to, like, 
snoop around, there might be a booby trap. Okay. There are booby traps. Okay. Booby okay. Traps. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me a... Booby uh, trap. Okay, there might be a booby trap. <laughs> oh, shit. I had, to, I had to actually build these things? This is the episode where Sarah plays Data from the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you require assistance in setting up explosives? I mean, yeah. Like, if you're good at explosives... I'm okay at explosives. Is he good at explosives? So, ah! is he going to be there now, or is this going to be a flashback of him setting these up? Um. Can I argue both? <laughs> well, she doesn't think he's still there. Exactly. He is. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's really, that's actually okay. really good. I like that. I like that a lot. I <laughs> left you alone to deal with this. <laughs> well, I'm leaving now. Here I go. See you later. Adios. <laughs> She's going to pull the trigger. Would you like some of this? <laughs> I thought they didn't even get to see my traps. <laughs> okay. Well, so if, uh, if that's the case, let's let's take the flashback back a little uh, a bit here to probably around sundown. Mm -hmm. Where Keitha is setting up uh, some explosive, some, some traps and explosive devices for you. Mm -hmm. Um, what what type of things help? are you setting up? Well, I currently have two baseball grenades or a bag of fertilizer, which we could argue could yeah. also be an explosive. And we could get more fertilizer from the remnants of Jones Island because Malorganite. It depends Base, on your baseball grenade with a tripwire is probably well. Well, what is your in, what, like? What is your intent for the trap? If, is, is the trap meant? The to... trap is so if anyone. Uh, sees calamity or figures out where the shots are coming from and they try to make their way up there they'll set them off on their way okay as yeah. a protection method yeah so it'll either at the very least disable them Trip yes work. okay so i would say so i would say that the baseball grenades are more of an like are more of an individual thing of like it, it will mess up one person mm -hmm. climbing up the things whereas anything rigged up with the fertilizer will essentially start a Baby avalanche that will cause uh, rocks and well, stuff. A crap avalanche, yeah. if you think, will. Yeah. A what? A crap avalanche, yeah. if you will. <laughs> a biff from Back to the Future. I am so. I hate the fact that I love that you made up that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap avalanche. Okay, so uh, go ahead and give me a was oh, it, explosives uh, perception roll. We don't need to worry about the specifics of the oh. of the. I uh, figured I would. Mix the fertilizer with some fusion cells. Okay, I got yeah. some gamma rounds you might could use if you needed. I mean, yeah. Okay. I got some crap. Right, so, Sarah, are you helping him? I will help. Yes. So, what do I do? I roll you roll. Steps. You roll one d10 and try to get it under your d20. Uh, or d20, d20. Sorry, and try to get it under your explosives perception. Oh, actually, I'm not bad at this. Woo! I did it. Hey. Nice. Okay. Yay! But will Ethan do it? I'm going to spend one bottle cap uh -huh. for another D20 because I want Ooh. this to work. I want this to work too. I think this is a good idea. This is going to be just fine. Well, I got an 11. That's good. And I got a 12 for mine. Ooh. So you got one. So I you got, got two. two. Oh. Wait, okay. I thought you were supposed to be helping Sarah. All the way around. Okay. Yeah, he's better. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I, I have a 10. So two two is a perfectly cromulent success, because um, that's basically going to be. However, I could spend one luck point for one die, right? You could if you wanted to. I mean, if you want to, and I think you totally should, because it's you awesome. Do have so so let's spend two to reroll two die. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah, buddy. Also, let me know if you get a nineteen or a twenty. Uh, I've got an eighteen. You got a nineteen? Eighteen. Okay. And I got a one. That's good. And oh, a that, 10. That's super great. Yeah. So that makes it five then? Mm-hmm. Because the one is yep. double six. Five. Five wow. successes. Okay. And the one is under my ten. No, the one the one still only counts okay. as two. Okay, okay. Yeah. Basically, basically count as seven. So basically <laughs> everybody has a tag skill or everybody has tag skills, which if you roll underneath those, that expands the crit range. Normally, uh if you roll a one under the uh um if you roll a one under your skill, you get two, but if it's a tag skill, it's equal to whatever the skill rating is. As an unrelated note, I'm also a demolitions expert, 
which means all explosives are vicious. Okay. So. So what that mean? What that means is when it, should this go boom, um, <laughs> any effects boom. that you roll are are also are basically extra damage. Yeah. You're the designer here, Keith. The, is it a trigger or is it a like a tripwire? I. Old calamity, it would be automatic. But you're actually. But like... I'm actually there because I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you with a button are a psychopathic <laughs> robot. Uh-huh. I love it. <laughs> I am looking for John Connor with a name, with a name like Keith. Yeah, like I mean, you don't. I feel like, I feel like he, when he says its name, it's not like I pronounce it differently every time. No, no, no. no. Like, 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 it's, like it's like it's like a it's like a weird chip warble. Like, <laughs> hi, I'm Keith, and that's just the closest yeah. that everybody else has like gotten. But if um, anybody says Keith or Keith, you tell them they're wrong. So yeah, everyone just says Keith. Yep. Yeah, they got they they. I mean, yeah. the, the the whole point of the of the of the Mister uh, Handy series is that they've lived in quotes the during the period between the last war and now which is 200 years so like any computer that's been left on mm-hmm. for a couple of centuries mm-hmm. there's gonna be some weird glitches and things going on could probably use a good defrag <laughs> i'm trying to defrag these people <laughs> i think you're trying to frag these yeah, people yeah, yeah just frag. you're not yeah, putting them back yeah. together <laughs> this isn't the last episode of farscape <laughs> So let's play the, the scene where you've got it set up and you tell her that it's a tripwire, even though you've got the, the button. So is it both or is it just you with the button? Oh, just me with the button. Okay. 100%. Okay. Asshole. <laughs> I love this. I am 100% down for this. Well, see that pile of rubble over there? Yes. It's got the explosive underneath. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So that if anyone comes past, that'll go off. And explode and throw shrapnel right at their faces. Tripwire? Of course. Well, more more remote de- detonation. Like anytime they come near it, it's gonna go off. They don't even have to hit the wire. It got proximity. Oh, so more like a pressure sensor. Exactly. Or like a laser. That's what I said. <laughs> I love the fact that Keith is has, has essentially uh, HK 47's hit cousin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, there should be only two of them. So uh, they're on all the paths up to the sniper's nest. Let's just hope this guy we're supposed to capture doesn't also come up here. I mean. Maybe think about shooting him in the leg so he can't. I mean, you're technically not wrong about that. Yep. But I think he might... But if I shoot him in the leg first and they come up... (gasps) Keep the... You're a genius. Then he can Chicago. (laughs) Wow. He whipped that out twice, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Coffee comes to trees. Oops. Does it? <laughs> I feel like that's the role play game equivalent of where you say the name of the movie inside oh, the movie. Bad game. jokes get better the more times you say them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, but oh, we'd have to treat him for the injury. We'll just we'll play it by ear. Okay. I don't got any, but sure. We'll play it by sound receptors. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Hear you loud and clear. I mean, am I being that loud? You're all ears. They're not that big, are they? Uh, Charlie starts to bark, <laughs> um, which means that they're on their way. Physicians. Well, you gotta go. Yeah, get back to the bar. <laughs> and thrust away. <laughs> So Keith uh, heads for the bar and instead decide, you know, hovers around behind another chunk of rock in the bramble. Um, and then um, <laughs> Charlie sets up as the <laughs> yeah. Charlie sets up as your forward spotter. Yep. 
Um, you scramble back up to to the nest. Get your. Uh, are you using the laser musket, or are you still using your? Did you or did you guys sell the laser musket? I, don't I think we sold the laser okay. musket. I have it in I my don't... inventory. Because oh. I don't think it had as much damage as mine. Yeah. It ha it has a, a, a variable damage. <laughs> right, but I'd also have to. I don't know why. Um, a lot of my right abilities go off the uh, the word accurate. Right, but it, quality. It, but that means that you just put the scope that you had on your old rifle. Yeah, you could have taken the... the scope off and put it on. But I don't think the laser does more damage. It. Well, I'm saying it has a variable damage. Right. So you could set it to do basically you can charge it. You charge it, and it does more damage per shot, but it uses up more ammo. If you don't want it, that's fine. I'm just I want you to be my rifle. okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just. I just wanted to make sure. I, Thank like, you. Thank you for making sure. Well, I, I also specifically put the 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 rifle as a loot because during session zero you're like, I want a laser rifle. So oh, right. I mean, like, I'll use it. No, no, no. If you want, if you have, if you have fallen in love with your rifle, I totally understand that. That's a classic Fallout move of like, yeah, this doesn't have as as good as stats, but it's my rifle. But I, could I spend, love. I could spend five five hundred percent more money to upgrade it. <laughs> But I love Mrs. McGinty. I can't get me rid of it. in Dragon Age keeping the worst swords because they look better. Oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. Yes, I we've all done that. Put like... people in bad armor because oh, yeah. it looks better. Yep. Mm -hmm. Take note, designers. Come on, Bioware. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Monk is—he's uh, wearing it. You know, uh, he, he and his guard um, arrive. Um, and it's two barley guards that are accompanying him, and he's he's a uh, an older balding man in a uh, rumpled lab coat, and he's holding a strange device um, with like that that are that's like two bicycle handles and like a that that connect to a central gadget that has a couple of like that has like a small jacob's ladder kind of vert, vert, vert thing going and and he's um walking around um you have arranged a signal with him to basically like when he says it that's when you're he's going to drop to the ground and you're going to start shooting um what is that word what is your murder word? <laughs> <laughs> what is my murder word? Gosh, what's a good murder word? Ducktails. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like looking at the ground. Ooh, is that a ducktail? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I ducktail. Yeah. Okay. Now we own we owe Disney money now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a ducktail. The tail of a the duck. The tail of a duck. It's a, it's it okay. has nothing to do with Sarah's current shirt. It's like it... a duck butt. But a tail. Unless it's okay. We can change it to duck butt. <laughs> Give me a survival plus perception roll. Your target here is just one. No. That is one success. So okay. yes. Okay, so you got it. Um the 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 barley guard is um ranked by uh, colored ribbons on their uh, epaulets mm -hmm. uh, that basically go up the um, the color spectrum. So, like at the bottom, you've got the the uh, the red ribbons. At the top, you've got the violet ribbons. And these guys are uh, yellow ribbons. So they're not okay. schmoes, but yeah, uh, they're not first years, right? Um, but they both do look kind of like. A little bored because they're because they're following this 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 Scientist, egg head around. Yeah. Like, Follow missions are the worst. They <laughs> like are. Read escort missions can die. I'm definitely. I think I'm. I'm definitely detecting something here. Yes. Yes. I think so. And and he starts wandering into uh, into the bramble. I start aiming to the one to the left. Okay. Um. The. <laughs> um. Actually, 
One is a yellow ribbon, and I think this is a good... And one of them is a red ribbon. Because I think this is a good, like, training mission to take the new guy out on. Oh, Ethan's no. like the anti-Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> when you kill a pawn I have to stop there, because then we will owe Disney money. Um, no, man, they won't recognize that tune. <laughs> We'll throw we'll throw it on on our uh, soundtrack album along with our uh, with our uh, rock uh, edition of the Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars. Theme song. Oh god! And of course, oh. anchor of my heart. Um, right, of course. Or now. bicycle kick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bicycle kick, bitch for life. Wow, we really do have an album. We do. We do. <laughs> we should get Sasha to help. The, the, yeah. Yeah, we'll um. So yeah, so it's 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 one yellow ribbon and a red ribbon. So monk peels off to uh you know explore like a like a crevice in the in the bramble and the red ribbon goes to follow him and and you see the yellow ribbon like kind of like grab him and go like yeah let 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 him do what he's got to do all right you don't have to follow him so close kid i'm aiming at the yellow ribbon then okay um because it's fun to see movies panic (laughs) oh man (laughs) So the sociopaths um, are together right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I prefer morally impaired. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, I, I think I thought it was Murderbot American. Isn't that how you Maybe, prefer to yeah. be called? So okay. we all. What, what do you mean, bot? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Whoops. Um, <laughs> so sure. So now we got the the the, the scope. Um, you know, on the on on the on the yellow uh the yellow guard. Um, but so and 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 you can and you see the 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 red ribbon is 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 kind of like, but there could be something dangerous in there. And the yellow ribbon is like, mm-hmm. there's danger everywhere, kid. Like, no matter where you're standing, oh you could get God. taken out in a moment's notice. Like. I mean, we. How many times ha- has has this guy thought he's already found water? Just do it. I mean, uh, you can just be standing there. Boom! Headshot. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but let's lead into that. I mean, you know. The next thing you know, uh, you you'll hear a gun go off, and my brains are gonna go splatter right over that rock. <sighs> has he hasn't said duck butt yet? No. Oh, I can do it anyway. I <laughs> it's just too good. Okay. Like, you can't just go around telling it's people to watch that out for thing. headshots you, you, you got a sniper up. around. Okay. Meanwhile. <laughs> I mean, I'm, only, I'm only like two weeks away from retirement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, want to see a picture of my family? <laughs> I'm keeping this role, by the way. I didn't tell you to roll, Sarah. I rolled, I and I'm keeping that roll. I'm roll. keeping that roll. I don't know if we can do mm. that. Keeping that roll. Mm. Keeping that roll. Mm. 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 Keeping it. Mm. Mm. Okay. We saw her rolling. Meanwhile, back at Voltskis. It is an exciting night. Tonight is sports ball night. Um, sports ball night is where uh, the, the 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 bar is filled with fans of the Soda Jerks sports ball program, where he recalls a, a sporting event from uh, before the last war, uh, over 200 years ago, and recreates it uh, for the patrons in the bar. And tonight, in particular, is a very exciting uh, sports ball event because it is a face-off between two uh, heavy rivals in the sports ball league. So there are fans... The the, the bar is packed with fans of the bronzers who are uh, wearing uh, yellow jerseys uh, that are homemade because they don't actually have the jerseys. Um... And any sort of yellow gear that they can find, and the Fonzers, um, who uh, ha- who have who have foam thumbs, 
Uh, and I think that they also have uh, foam pompadours. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Um, that that uh, they have uh, that they that they bought. Uh, I think I think there's a specialty shop out in Ridgegate that sells that makes these things and sells them. Uh, so how are you preparing for uh, your broadcast here, uh, Kirk? Uh, well, I'm I'm doing it from the bar. So I'm deck the I I asked for permission to deck out the bar with with the. the... Do you have like a little side like? like section like the like the peanuts like yeah. psychology booth kind of a thing okay. yeah so that's all set up ready to go trying to bring in more business to the bar and uh rainer was kind enough to let me set up shop and deck out the whole bar with uh paraphernalia from both sides and and um basically just kind of making sure everything works are you selling uh foam thumbs and things like that oh yeah okay. i i have my little booth give me a uh barter okay so two roll okay barter i did it <laughs> how, how many successes did you get two okay so i will give you uh an uh an option here uh either you can bank so you can choose to bank a success as a momentum because the difficulty was actually zero. Oh. Or um, for each one that you keep, you roll a d20, and that's how many caps you get from sales of various. Oh, oh I'll do that. Well, are you going to do both? Are you going to do one and one? Yeah, let's do one and one. Okay. Because God knows we might need that. Okay, so roll a d20. All right, here we go. Whee! What'd you get? 16. Nice. Right. So you you've made 16 caps before the uh the before the event. You notice he's made 16 caps before the event. <laughs> um How sales over there? It's uh you know slow, but slow. it's it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, you know. Yeah. It's uh how many of those people were also buying drinks just to Check in on that. Oh, they were they weren't they were just chatting. Mm-hmm. Oh, they weren't chatting. uh mm-hmm. they weren't buying mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. They were brow eye browsing. Eye browsing. Yeah. Eye browsing? They were bra- uh, Were they yeah. like plucking their eyebrows? No, out? they were browsing with their eyes. Oh. Looking for stuff to buy oh. perhaps at some point. Perhaps at some point. Okay, I got you. Um, so why don't you go ahead and make, why don't you also make a, a barter roll here to see how sales are going on the bar side of things. I also feel like the entire crowd is going, doo, doo. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! No, it's, uh, a, a, whoa! A, <laughs> oh, yes! Whoa. Um, only one success. Okay, so you have, you have the same option. You can either bank that. Yeah, we, we roll in that d Fourteen. Okay. All right. They're buying some caps. Okay. Yeah. So not, not as much as me though. <laughs> <laughs> They're buying some beers. I, I love. They're I love. I love that, that uh, it took me zero prompting to be the get the two of these guys. Like, well, who's gonna sell more by the end here? Um. Uh, it's all. It's packed. all. It's all the fun of the like. <laughs> Ultimately, every role playing group wants to just be a small business, and like, <laughs> yeah, like the dungeon stuff is fun, but they want to get back and like, you know, build their flood base the market with short swords. and flood the <laughs> market with short swords. Um, so it, it's a pretty good, it's a, it's a pretty good sports ball night. Um, I even dug out the closest thing to a bronzer, Fonz, or jersey as I could. Sports ball. Ah. Yeah. All the sports ball. Mm. All the sports ball. <laughs> uh huh. Too bad this. Sport only uses a puck. Does it? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, do you want to do? Do you want to do your opening sports ball pitch here? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, welcome everyone to uh, Volsky's, where we're going to have a great sporting event here. Uh, the Bronzers and the Fonzers. Hey! Make hey! some noise. Hey! Fonzers, make noise if you think you're going to win. Bronzes, make sure you make noise if you think you're gonna win. Hey! Oh. Yeah, whoa! <laughs> Who was louder? My ears are rotted off. 
I couldn't actually hear too good. Bronzers! 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 Oh! Bronzers! <laughs> bronzers were cheering and chanting unprompted. Uh, they're all wearing, uh, they all got spray tans for this event. It's really good. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the teams are, uh, heading out on the, uh, the pitch there. Uh, uh, they're all, uh, high sticking in celebration for, uh, the, uh, you know, the upcoming, uh, touchdowns. Touchdown. And- <laughs> And, uh, uh, yeah, the crowd goes wild. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it looks like somebody's muffin the punt. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and give me a, uh, a speech roll here. <laughs> can I assist by getting everyone drunk? You can. Go ahead and give me... So, hold that thought. Uh, what, hold that. Uh, what does that entail, getting everyone drunk? Uh, I'm going to say barter here, because, you know, that you're like, all right, uh, half off shots of this for the Fonzers, half off shots of this for the Bronzers. So you only roll, you roll one. Oh, okay. Well, I succeeded on both of them. So, um, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you're <laughs> assisting, success. so if you're assisting here, um, so now you make your speech roll and if you succeed, you add one success to it. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Um, let's see. I got one success. So two success. Two success. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, the, the crowd is sufficiently pumped. Uh, um, some of them pull out their high sticks. Um, <laughs> just stick that says high. It's really high on the board. Yeah, yeah. they literally say high. High, 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 high. <laughs> but it's H-I, not high. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the, 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 the camera pans across the, 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 the crowd in the bar. And in the corner, we see the mysterious stranger. Mm. Oh. We cut back to. Uh, so what is your? So let me let me tell you this. All right, if you're going for a headshot, yeah. Um, what you have to do that that um, makes the difficulty higher. Okay. Damn you, Tony! I want to be a ghoul and jump in and be like, help you tell the story. And I think it'd be so funny to us. Like we're a commentator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that, yeah, I'm kind of bummed I don't have, like, a second, like... Like a, like a your color guy? Yeah. 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 Well, Bob, look over there. Yeah, Jim. It's... Yeah, I've never seen such terrible things happen out of field, but, uh, it, it helps when you lose your eyes. You can't see <laughs> Okay. So, um, the Yellow Ribbon's, um, uh, defense is one. So, to, to, to go for the headshot, it is a difficulty of two. Two. Actually, three, because the number two is under my small guns number. Boom. Okay, so under your tag skill. Yes. Um, okay, now, uh, so you can uh, spend that AP for extra damage, mm-hmm. um, or you can uh, bank it, or what do you want to do with it? Uh, I think I'm going to spend it for extra damage, because if I don't kill him... It's not going to be. As, it's, it's not. not it's not as, as funny. It's yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not as funny. So, and that's six, two, three, four, five, six, extra, extra. Okay. <laughs> that was a sad roll. That was a really was sad, a very sad roll. Uh, you got, two, uh, you, got, you got four there that so don't, don't do much. Four and an effect. Um, can I use you luck can, to for, for, for luck, you can you can spend a luck point uh, to re-roll up to three combat dice. Okay, and damage would count as combat dice. Yes, that's what those All are. Right. And I would actually end up getting an extra AP because when I take the aim action and then make a ranged attack with two-handed weapon with accurate quality... You can specify a hit location to target without increasing the difficulty of the attack. Okay. That's the sniper ability. That's mm-hmm. the sniper ability, which is fun. So I'll do that extra damage. So roll time. Four. Snippety snipety. Oh, damn, son. All right. I'll Rolling roll like in the shiz. Thing. Yes! Okay. Eight with, an, with effect. an effect, which is piercing one. Okay. So he doesn't actually have a helmet. Uh, so the, the piercing one does not, uh, uh, affect him, so you're just doing eight damage. Threshold for a critical hit is five. 
So you get not... that quick cut scene where in bats when you do it, it just like. Well, he's <laughs> he's not going to die because he didn't inflict enough damage oh, to him. Frack? Well, he's a. Um, Damn. He's a yellow shirt. Damn. What that means though is that he basically loses his next turn. Um, because he's bu- busy bleeding out of his face. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't inflict a critical wound. So as, as blood, you know, is is oozing down his head. How much damage you, did you do to him? I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Case in point. Oh, <laughs> what, a, what an unfortunately timed example. The irony. Uh. If you, are you going to take a second shot at this guy then? Because you're going to go first. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to go first. Um, did you say he loses a turn? Yeah. I'm going to go for the red oh, strike. Oh. He's a guy you might one shot. So let me let me pull up his stats really quick. That's here. why I'm doing it. No, that that's a very smart <laughs> way to do it. Um, because that's I feel like that's well, no. In, in the video game, you generally want to focus fire, but like if he's hurt, then it's like okay, fine, you're closer. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna hip shoot you while I wait for my AP to come back. Uh, yeah, so you get, so you, you hit him first and you can crack off number two. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's, that's two successes. Okay, so you can spend, you can either bank one of those or, um, spend it for extra damage. I will spend it for extra damage right away because I just want to get this over with. Mm-hmm. The faster the better. Well, we at least have an effect. And I'll spend my th- the three luck again. No, you don't have to spend one luck for three dice. Oh, oh, that's even better. I'll spend the one luck for the three yeah. dice. Make sure you... I, I hope you didn't re... No. Mm-hmm. I hope you, we're good. Okay. I just want to make sure you didn't spend three luck last time. You should yeah, I... Luck. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just making sure. Oh, that's better. Okay. So, two, four, six, eight... Eight with effect. Well, the effect is that you one shot the, uh, the red <laughs> ribbon. So oh, I should have <laughs> put a blue ribbon, Rob. He, uh, yeah. so so uh, so the yellow ribbon staggers backwards, uh, and it's like can't get ja! <laughs> as a, a splatter of red covers the uh, the the yellow ribbon, um, where the the kid's head used to be. His stripes all over you. <laughs> um, and he doesn't... Well... Jimmy, I love you! You've got red on you. So, uh, he loses a... He loses his regular, um... Action. Okay. Um, but he can spend AP to take a bonus action, which is what he's going to do. Um... And he's going to try to see where you were hiding. Okay. So now is the time to make that stealth roll versus his um, perception plus uh, survival. Okay. Which he's not... Well, he's okay at. So I'm rolling. It's not the best. And it's rolling two again, correct? Yep. Unless you want to buy... Additional. Do we have any AP right now? Just one you have two. two. So you can buy one more die. Didn't mm-hmm. you get a one? Yeah, that's a one. Oh. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Because I've ghost, so whenever I attempt an agility plus sneak... Oh, agility plus sneak. That's well, not survival. No, no, you should be rolling sneak. He rolled survival. Oh, I just want to think. Oh, oh is that, does, does that make you more of a ninja badass? I'm yeah, so sorry. That does make me more of a ninja. Well, welcome to the act where Sarah gets to to, to show off how awesome her character is. I might have been maxed. Okay. Hmm. Um, I do have two success. Okay. What um, what does your ghost ability do? Uh, ghost ability actually. Wait. Uh, whenever you attempt an agility plus sneak test in shadows or darkness. Because I'm assuming I'm in shadows because I'm in a yeah. sniper's nest. Uh, the first additional d20 you buy is free. Gimme. G- gimme. <laughs> the normal maximum of a 5d20 still applies. Damn. <laughs> That's 
three. Good okay. morning. <laughs> I didn't mean to be so squeaky. So, um, that means that you got, uh, um, so he got two, so you beat him. Um, and we'll put one back in his way. Because he he's he's got his rifle out now and is and, he's got and blood is, on his face. Yeah, like he's bleeding out. Um. Oh, technically Charlie goes on my turn. Um. Bork. <laughs> Can Charlie get to the one that's injured? We should record Wash barking and use it as Charlie's noise. <laughs> Um, he could. I might recommend, I know that, that your character isn't aware of this, but Charlie might be. I think it might be better to have him get Monk out of the danger area if he knows that the explosion is coming. Because I feel like Charlie Oh, might yeah, be, like, Mo I, that, might call no, that's actually a really zone. good idea, because I could probably, yeah, I'll have Charlie go get Monk, because that just helps with the extraction. Right. So, uh, have... Uh, does Charlie have a full stat block? Uh, it's sort of. For, sort of ish. He's got body, mind, melee, other. Okay. <laughs> um, initiative as a PC. Carry weight is fifty pounds. Um, ba -da -ba -da -da. two vicious damage, physical damage. Can you, you know what? Oh, there's one of the abilities that that you have for luck is um, you can basically you can spend a point of luck to essentially introduce a an element into the fiction if you want to spend a point of luck rather than have him roll anything you can just say that he he's got oh yeah yeah i'll spend some luck i'm done i'm okay so uh <laughs> so so um uh the uh the yellow ribbon is looking around is like looking to see and and then he's like where's the egghead where's the egghead and you see Charlie uh, dragging Monk up the, the side of the mountain, and, and then uh, uh, Monk is like yelling, Duck butt! Duck butt! Duck butt! <laughs> Twelve. I'm going to pop out of my hiding spot and say, I'm glad you got them all, Miss Wayne. Good thing there's nothing left to come up here and check us out. As loud as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get him to shoot you? I'm trying to get him to charge up here. I'm, I'm going to duck back behind the rock I was hiding. Oh! <laughs> I just really want to blow someone up real bad. I, well, I... um, Honestly, if you just... Like, you can, you can definitely say that. And we don't even necessarily have to go back into turns. Um, If you just want to push the button, Frank. I can do that. You, you kind of want to push the button, don't you? Yeah. I mean, because okay. I mean, I'm sure it'll. Because yeah, so you pop up uh, and and you say that, um, and I think the guy starts like you know takes us like a as, as as he runs towards you, you know, past where the uh, where the thing is rigged. Ethan, you're going to roll uh, your explosive skill. Um, I'm going to say that uh, your because of of how you set things up that you uh the base damage of your um uh of your explosive is six you can spend ap if you want to roll for additional stuff uh there are currently three um ap which means you could buy two dice total because it's one for the first one for the first buy one die one for the first and then two for the second okay Ooh. I'm going to spend two luck. <laughs> Three roll anything that didn't succeed. <laughs> My goal before the end of this uh, of this Ooh, series no. is to see if we can actually tap you out of luck. Uh, one of those is a 19. <laughs> oh yeah, one of them was a 19. Okay. But that I doesn't got... matter for this necessarily. Okay. I got two successes. Um and then I'm going to spend another luck. <laughs> Oh, mysterious uh, to use better criticals. Oh. oh, okay. To make it a critical. 
to make what a critical? I, I'm, oh, I guess it already was a critical, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, it, it, you don't know if it's a critical until you roll the damage, because it has to be five or better. Oh, okay. Um, for the for the damage. When you inflict damage, I can spend one luck to make it a critical. Okay, so it's a so it's a yeah. critical yeah. regardless of what you roll. Yeah. Okay. So what blast means is um you don't target a specific person, you target a zone, mm. and uh, even if you miss, uh, it's basically half damage. Uh, so you got what a three? Yes. Okay. So you have one x. Uh, you have one. Uh, AP that you can either bank or spend on extra damage. Good extra damage. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, you're rolling. Did I say six? You said four? six. So seven. Yep. Okay. Roll. <laughs> spend another luck. You're all three of those. Okay. Okay. Six. Two, three, four. You're right. Okay. Um, I, I don't actually I don't know what what noise does the uh does the trigger make? Do you does it like a cowbell or like a <laughs> I need more cowbell <laughs> Well howdy <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Groovy Um and <laughs> the, the the rock slide comes down and collapses on um the 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 yellow guard. That's still my kill. Is it? I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we will take our first act break. Victory! Uh, we'll be back uh, with our second act next week to see how the rest of Sports Ball Night goes. But until then, uh, enjoy this uh, seven, the sixth inning <laughs> halftime show. Is that, right? is, that, is that right, Kirk? Sure. <laughs> sure. Congratulations, fellow human! You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.